Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up a time lapse. Now, in some of our other videos, we've talked about two different types of time lapses that we can do. There's advanced and they're simple. This video is about how to do an advanced time lapse. So we're gonna go into the main menu and click on time lapse. It's gonna ask us to set up a keyframe. This is gonna be the same workflow as setting up a video move. Your move is basically just gonna be over a longer period of time and you're gonna be triggering your shutter with a shutter release cable. One thing to note is that a shutter release cable is optional. It does not come with your Arc 2 unit. You can trigger your shutter using Light Lapse. That's an iOS app that we have available. That'll be covered in a separate video. So for now, let's set up our move. This first keyframe is good. Let me move over to the other side of my slider. And let's go up. Let's say I'm looking up towards the horizon here. Okay, I think that's a good move. My shutter speed is my next option I have. Obviously I'm not out anywhere or I'm actually filming, but let's say that I have a 10 second shutter speed. Move over. Let's test my shot and make sure that exposure looks good. This is your typical workflow. When you are setting up your composition, you wanna get your exposure right first. So you dial in your shutter speed, you dial in your aperture. This is a fixed lens, fixed aperture lens. I'm using at 2.8. And then depending on your camera, you can adjust your ISO. This is a 60, so I'm not gonna push it very high. If I were using a Sony A7 series, A7S, A7S II, a max on that is about 50,000 ISO that I'm comfortable with. So after you do your test shot, make sure you're good. Your next option is video length. So video length is basically how many shots you wanna take and what you want this to be in your final edit, how long you want it to be. So 10 seconds is about a minimum that I like. You can do a five second time lapse, but it goes by really fast. So I wanna make sure that I have more than enough. So let's say 15 seconds, that should be good. And then the next screen is gonna give me my duration. And this basically takes your shutter speed and your video length and gives you a minimum duration for, um, for those factors. So let me click in. I can't go left at all in this menu. I can only go right. So let me do a three hour and maybe I'll do, I'll stick with six minutes. And then I click start move, moves to start. I'm ready to go. And I can start my move. So that's how you set up a time lapse. It's very simple. Go check out our other videos on actually using it out in the field for more tips and tricks. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to support at rhinocg.com.